On this episode of Cache Canada, we're going to be exploring the Grand Canyon through virtuals and earth caches. Come join us, and this is the first time we have ever seen the Grand Canyon. Wow! Holy doodle! It is huge. Take a look at this. First impression. There's a reason they call it grand. <laughs> it is absolutely. It's amazing. It's, you, you can't, you can't believe what you're seeing. It's so humongous, and this is just a piece of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go see some more. As for geocaching, there are 14 virtuals, 12 earth caches, one where I go, one multi, and one traditional within the park boundaries. A majority of the virtuals are down into the canyon. Most of the remainder of all the geocaches are along the south rim. We pass a lot of viewpoints to get to this spot. It's called Ducks on a Rock. There's two earth caches here, one dealing with the dock on a rock, and the other one about geodes. So you have to read a little bit of a description on the geocache page about geology. Of course, that's what earth caches are about. And then answer the questions. In this one, ducks on a rock, there are three questions to answer. And we always like to take a photo of ourselves with the object, and then we will read the page when we get home, and then answer the questions, and then send them in. One thing about earth caches is not to get stressed out about answering the questions while you're at GZ. Take some time, enjoy what you're looking at, read the questions, and then deal with it at a later time, either when you're done for the day, back home, in your hotel, in your RV, whatever. Don't stress about them right then. The second earth cache, Karen is off with the Hailmeister to check out the geodes in the wall. Next up, we visited the visitor center and the gift shop. The large map on the wall shows just how massive the canyon is. The Grand Canyon is 446 kilometers long, up to 29 kilometers wide, and attains a depth of over 1,857 meters. The sheer scale of this is just so hard to fathom. Being here and seeing it for myself, I still can't believe how big it is. And there's nothing anybody could do to show you how amazing it is and how massive this thing is. So you have to come and check it out. <laughs> yes, it's one of those bucket list items you just have to, you know, check off. Make sure you come and see it. <laughs> Earth caches, a love them, hate them relationship. Yeah, do you like them? Let us know in the comments below. Do you steer clear of them or do you do them? Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Where will geocaching take you? you?